Are there any special considerations for this installation, or is it uh, more or less just like installing a tank-style water heater? Actually, the installations are very similar, but there are a few key differences that need to be taken into consideration to ensure a proper installation. Okay, what are the differences? Well, there's a few. First of all is the stainless steel vent material. Indoor products require a sealed stainless steel vent material be used instead of a standard B vent like you might find with an atmospheric product. That's because of the flue gases and the condensation that could occur in a power vented appliance like that. Okay, what else is different? Well, because the tankless water heaters heat the water on demand, the burner typically is much larger than you'll find in a standard storage type water heater. This may sound a little odd, but keep in mind the water heater is only on when there is a demand for hot water. In addition, it's got a fully modulating burner, so it's only going to use as much gas as needed to meet the demand. So you may need to check to see that your gas supply is adequate. Absolutely. In fact, depending on which model you choose, you're either going to need a one-half inch or a three-quarter inch gas supply line. We always recommend you consult your local gas utility to make sure that your gas line is sized properly. Okay. Anything else? There is. A couple things to maintain are to make sure that you maintain proper clearances and also to make sure that there's enough combustion air to supply the unit. This information is provided for you in your use and care manual. And typically, if you're in an installation where the water heater is in the basement or located outdoors, very rarely will there be any sort of problem with the combustion air.